quick tools. Hi, have you watched my recently uploaded animation titled Doey and Kappa? It's a short and fun animation that I made in Blender and rendered in Eevee. If you haven't watched it, do check it out first. I'll link it in the video's description. In this video, I'll show you guys how to create the same character setup that I used to animate my characters. There are two main parts to the character setup, the eyes and the limbs. I'll go over the setup for the eyes in part 1 of this tutorial. Here's my scene. As you can see, I only have the model of Doey and his eye here. This setup will work with any character you intend to use. So don't worry if you don't have a donut at your disposal now. You can actually use the default cube if you want to. Now, it wouldn't be an issue if we duplicate and stick the eyes onto the character and call it done if we were just rendering a steel frame. But because this character will be used for animation, the eyes will need to be constantly rotated and directed towards different points of interest. Imagine how tedious this would be if we were to animate them by hand. Not to mention that we can't keep the cartoony shape for the eyes when they rotate. To solve this, we will need to use lattice and constraints to control the eyes. First, add the lattice and increase the resolution a little. Then, add the lattice modifier on the eye and choose the lattice as the deformer. Now parent the eye onto the lattice and position it onto your character by manipulating the lattice. Duplicate them together to make the other eye. You can edit the lattices in edit mode to exaggerate the cartoon style of your character. By using lattice deformations, the eyes will retain its shape no matter how it is rotated. Let's set up the point of interest for the eyes now. Add an empty into the scene and place it in front of your character. Select the eye and add the track to constraint. Pick the empty as the target and choose the eye's z axis to point towards it. The axis pointing up cannot be the same as the chosen axis, so pick another. Either x or y will do, as it doesn't make any difference. Repeat the steps for the other eye. If you move the empty now, the eye should always be looking at it. Now, if you move the empty to the side too much, you will notice the eye on the far side has gone missing into the body. To fix this, we need to create different constraints for each eye. Reset the empty's position to the middle, duplicate it twice, and place them like this. Re-pick the eye's constraint targets accordingly, and parent the two empties to the original one. If you need your character to look at an extreme angle like before, you can now manually animate the constraint objects of the individual eyes and still sell the illusion of your character's eyes looking at the same place. Also, you can now animate them googly eyes. And that's all for the eye setup. Be sure to watch part 2 of this tutorial, where I'll continue with the limbs for your character. Thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi! <laughs> Subscribe!